Welcome to iRescue's online tutorial for replacing your iPhone 3G and 3GS digitizer. Before you begin, you'll want to make sure that you have all the tools necessary to complete the repair, including an X-Acto knife, a small standard screwdriver, a small Phillips head screwdriver, and a suction cup. First, remove the two Phillips head screws from either side of the docking port on the bottom of your phone. Then, attach the suction cup to the face of your phone as close to the docking end as possible and use it to remove the front panel assembly from the back plate. You will now need to disconnect the cables that attach the LCD, digitizer, and frame to the logic board. The LCD and digitizer cables lift straight off the board. The frame connector has a small clip that needs to be released and then the cable will slide toward the power button. Now that you've removed the front panel assembly, we need to remove three screws on each side of the frame that attach the LCD to the digitizer. Once these six screws are removed, we will gently work our standard screwdriver between the metal side rail of the frame and the metal backing plate of the LCD and gently work the LCD out of the frame. Now we need to remove the old digitizer from the frame. We'll start by getting a small gap between the side rail of the frame and the digitizer. We'll insert our X-Acto knife in that gap, work up to one end, and gently work the X-Acto knife between the glass and the frame. Once we've cleaned the adhesive off the frame, we need to apply the new adhesive strips that came with our digitizer to the frame. Once our adhesive strips are installed, we're ready to install the new digitizer. We want to start with the cable end, making sure that the cable is not pinched between the digitizer and the frame. We want to firmly seat the end of the digitizer against the rubber seal. And then we can press the other end down, making sure that the home button aligns properly with the hole. Now we're ready to remove the protective film from the inside of the digitizer, being careful not to touch it with our fingers as it's very hard to clean. Then we can reattach the LCD to the frame and digitizer.
Now we're ready to reconnect the three cables of the front panel assembly to the logic board. Once the cables are connected, you're ready to close the phone. Just make sure that the top of the front panel assembly is firmly in place before trying to press the bottom in. After pressing the new assembly firmly in place, you can install the two screws on the bottom of the phone. If the LCD doesn't come on properly at first, you may need to reset the phone by pressing and holding the home button and power button simultaneously until the phone restarts. And finally, test that all areas of your new digitizer function properly and are touch sensitive. Now, just enjoy your shiny new fully restored iPhone.